it's like the first stop. Just stop. Yeah, but I'm like, in the I'm, alley. No, no, listen, bro. Yeah. It's like antagonistic. I, I just need this one shot, please. No, you got the shot, but I'm saying it's It like, was not a good one. I respect you. If you saw and heard my video, allegedly, where the paparazzi said, we're here for Kim. The paparazzi said that. We didn't say that. Although we all know things between Kim Kardashian and Kanye West haven't exactly been great considering their recent battle for their kids. But now it seems Kim has taken things a bit further. And let's just say that Kanye replacing her with someone that looks exactly like her didn't particularly sit well with her. But how she's decided to take her revenge now will utterly shock you. Question now is what exactly has she done? And how's Kanye taking it? Let's find out. Hey Kim, what do you think about Kanye hitting someone at the school? Do not talk to me about that. Sorry, Kim. If there's one thing the Kardashians have always had going for them, it's their control over paparazzi. And now it seems like Kim might be using that superpower to get back at the father of her kids for his latest move. What move is that, you ask? Well, Kanye recently shocked the world after his and Kim's marriage was officially dissolved, as he got married to another woman almost immediately after. But Kanye didn't just get married to any random person, he got married to someone that looks and even dresses exactly like Kim. According to reports, on January 13th, TMZ broke the news that Kanye West, now legally known as Yee, secretly wed his Yeezy architectural designer, Bianca Sensori. While his rumored wife has lived in Los Angeles for a few years now, she's actually an Aussie, hailing from the coffee capital of Melbourne. While neither West nor Sensori have commented publicly on their alleged nuptials, cryptically the controversial rapper's ex-wife Kim Kardashian has shared her thoughts. Until we know more about West's reported wedding, here's a quick rundown on his reported Aussie wife, who bears a striking resemblance to Kardashian. Recent paparazzi shots, however, show West wearing a wedding ring this week when he and Bianca arrived at the Waldorf Astoria in Beverly Hills. The Daily Mail also reported West and Sensori honeymooned at a posh resort in Utah last week. Now, it seems Kim isn't too pleased about the union between her ex-husband and this woman who looks exactly like her, which is why she has decided to send paparazzi to track her every move. But is Kanye actually serious about his marriage to Bianca? Well, if the reports that have been following Kanye since the news of the pair broke are to be believed, it seems the rapper really is. And Kim, more than livid about that has been plotting for Kanye to have it bad. You see, following claims Kanye West is reportedly headed to Melbourne to meet Bianca Sensori's family in Ivanhoe East, the rumor mill has begun churning with alleged sightings, which tells you things are probably more serious than they look. Well, these details aren't exactly music to Kim's ears, but things took an even darker turn for her when Connie started involving his kids with his new wife, particularly in a hush-hush dinner at Nabu in Los Angeles, a 10-minute drive from the Waldorf Hotel where he's reportedly been staying for the past months. Northwest and Bianca had their first sit-down since the Yeezy employee married the anti-Semitic rapper, her boss. According to paparazzi reports, the January 21st dinner was tense, even though North brought a friend with her. <laughs> <laughs> Kanye and Bianca's bodyguards were so strict, according to first-hand sources, that attendees of a child's birthday party occurring at a nearby table were pressured to keep their phones in their pockets. The rapper's security detail even swatted down a few kids attempting to take TikTok videos of themselves celebrating. Might seem like a simple family trying to enjoy their time together, but considering how Kanye has had to deal with paparazzi since he became a newlywed, you'd understand why the rapper seemed on edge. It gets even more disturbing. A couple of weeks back, Kim and Kanye had to be under the same roof for an activity involving their daughter, but guess who was also in attendance? Yup, his new wife. Specifically, reports revealed that Kim Kardashian and her ex-husband kept their distance as they attended their children. North and Saints basketball game in Los Angeles on Friday, January 27, 2023. The rapper was accompanied by his new wife, Bianca Sensori. Meanwhile, closely following behind the reality TV star, Kardashian, was her sister's ex, Tristan Thompson. The NBA player was spotted strolling close behind Kim as they entered the building before the basketball game commenced. Recently, Kim flew to Toronto, accompanying Chloe and mom Chris to attend the funeral of Tristan's mother. Kanye was soon also spotted arriving at the venue with Bianca as they pulled into a parking lot in a sleek, black Mercedes SUV. The rapper could be seen in the driver's seat with his new wife sitting on the passenger side. And while Kim obviously couldn't stand the fact that Kanye has moved on with someone else, it seems she had her own plans to steal the shine at the event. You see, while a lot of other celebrity kids go to North and Saints school, Kim is basically the only one that has the entire place blocked with paparazzi when she comes. Now, knowing that and still bringing Tristan Thompson who is already rumored to be getting back with Chloe after repeatedly cheating on her seems to be her way of taking the spotlight from Kanye and Bianca. But that's not where this plot of Kim seems to meet a stop. 
Outside of the game, Kanye also ran into paparazzi, ones that seemed to have been closely following him since he came to the game, and they were a little bit more snarky than usual. Stop. I wasn't running. If I say, it ain't running. I wasn't Stop with running. your cameras. I know, but Stop Kanye, you're cameras. a celebrity. In fact, this run-in with the paparazzi was so bad that it was almost like those guys were on a mission to piss Kanye off. Because that they did, and the rapper didn't exactly take things so lightly. The Donda icon often makes friends with the paparazzi, but these days, he seems a tad more irritated. A new video has surfaced, taken by a person filming West and Sensori during a private moment. The person behind the camera is yelling at the pair about them being on their honeymoon, to which West repeatedly tells him to stop. The rapper called the person antagonistic and demanded that the man leave them alone. The person insists they were far enough away and only needs just one shot. Kanye replied, you got the shot, but I'm saying you don't even know. Y'all just jump up on people like this in the street just like. It was like the stop, just stop. Yeah, but I'm like, in the alley. No, no, listen, bro. Yeah. It's like antagonistic. I, I just need this one shot, please. No, you got the shot, but I'm saying it's It like, was not a good, but I respect you. Wes questioned who the photographer worked for, and the man said he was independent. He told him it wasn't right that someone could just walk up on a stranger at night and take photos without repercussions. West also spoke about not having any say in how or where the photos are published. He added that celebrities also don't get a cut on money's earned. The paparazzo told Yi that he stopped photographing him when asked. Still, the person continued to record and release the footage. Karma, we say, uh, you reap what you sow. And I feel like this is God humbling me right now because there's two things that are happening. A lot of times when I would say, oh, I'm the richest black man. These altercations has now left many fans with the opinion that Kim might have set out to actually have paid paparazzi to verbally attack her former husband, simply because she's starting to realize she has lost him forever. And this theory actually checks out because, in the past, the paparazzi have always been nothing but absolutely nice to Kanai. In fact, in most cases, they were willing to listen to whatever Kanye had to say because, as we all know, the man literally walks on controversy, so it's kind of a win-win for them. And you can bring this world to a peaceful place on earth as it is in heaven, in Jesus' name, amen. Love you guys. This is why so many people are now of the opinion that Kanye's recent stints with the paparazzi may not be as much of an accident as most would like to think but rather that Kim is and has been the one behind all of it, and there's proof. According to the 40-year-old herself, in the days before she got famous, she was so desperate for fame that she would seek out paparazzi to take pictures of her. She stated that she had her ways, tells you all you need to know, doesn't it? While it's still unclear if Kim is actually behind Kanye's paparazzi attacks, some fans seem to think so. One of such is this user who, talking about Kim, said, um, most celebs call paps to give them a heads up to where they'll be, especially when they're promoting something and need to be seen a lot. I mean, it won't exactly be difficult for the mother of his kids to find out exactly where Kanye would be, especially considering his kids had a game that day. So it is very likely that Kim had a hand in these paparazzi attacking Yi and his new wife. Anyway, time will tell what really happened pretty soon. That's it for this video. Goodbye.